Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming, bringing you a guide to how to rake up faster in the new expansion from Destiny called Rise of Iron. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions. Hey, Jay, I'm stuck at the 350 light level. I can't seem to make any progression. I want to do the Nightfall. I want to do the Raid and everything like that. I'm really struggling right here. So I wanted to make this guide and tell you something, show you what I'm doing to rank up faster. Because if you're like me, you can't just sit at home all day, every day and play this game and grind away. So I want to help you be as efficient as possible. And maybe some of these things you already know. But uh, hopefully I can show you some other things or show you some other things that are going to help you out even more. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to show you what to do with your second and third characters to really help them along. Now, what you want to focus in on once you get to that 350 light level. If you're not to that 350 light level, make sure you use your Vanguard Marks by armor. And you can get 350 armor plus that uh, 350 artifact and everything like that. Focus in on that and you should have no problem hitting 350 pretty fast. But once you get to that, you want to do these weekly heroic missions right here and the nice thing about these are they will pair you with other people or you can bring in a fire team of three now before you actually do these I want you to prep some things make sure you have your Vanguard reputation booster going on that's gonna help you rank up your Vanguard faster which is also gonna help you out make sure you also pop a three of coins it doesn't really help you a whole lot if you get a three of coins to drop but I'd save those and hold on to those once you rank up a little bit more because it's always nice to have those new exotics but besides that you also want to have have, besides your Vanguard Reputation Booster, you also want to have your class item equipped that also helps you rank up your Vanguard Booster. Now, mine is not ranked up all the way. I have another one that is ranked up all the way, but I really like this one and want to go with it. So I'm trying to rank it up faster, but I'd recommend having that because it, when you rank up your Vanguards and your factions and everything like that, you get drops that help you increase your light level. Now, you also want to have all those bounties so you can rank up your Vanguard faster as well. So make sure you have your exotic particles going on, your Vanguard Booster, your Vanguard mark and all the bounties that you can and focus in on getting those bounties. Now at the end of these strikes, the bosses are going to drop two blue Ingrams, usually two blue Ingrams that are going to be anywhere from two to four above your current light level. So I'm at 357 right there. All right, now I just picked up a pair of gauntlets that are 360, three above. So that's three above right there, and also boots that are 359. So that's going to help me rank up half a light level right there from just those two drops. Now here's another one. I think I end up getting a heavy and a bond. So my heavy is 357, that went up to 360. And then my bond was 359 and 360. So it's not dependent on what you have equipped in each spot, but it's dependent on your total light level. So that means you have to have your highest total light level equipped at the end of the strike. It doesn't matter at the beginning or the middle, but when that boss dies, you have to have your highest light level equipped. So you might have some different weapons that you're using. Make sure you switch those before you kill the boss because that's going to help you out. Now, if you use a skeleton key, that's just like decrypting an exact or a legendary engram basically only gives you what your current light level is or one above that so I think I ended up getting um, a class item for a Titan I think I'll show you at, at the end of this video but it was only 358 I was 357 and I got a 358 so hitting these is not as crucial to that but like I said make sure you have your highest light level equipped you should get anywhere from uh, two to four ballpark above that now on the goal is a great one to do you can actually farm on to go if you kill her before this part and uh, you could really do some night things kill her over and over again if you can get a good fire team in place now the one that you want to avoid is fogoth for some reason fogoth is bugged and you will only get 240s that drive from, drop from that one so if you get in there just uh, back out and try a different one out there now these are the things that I got after I think four strikes uh, besides the things I have equipped I also got a pair of exotic boots and a helmet a 360 special a 359 primary 359 bond um, and some greens and blues plus there's that uh, cloak that I got from that one strike but you can see where I'm at I'm gonna jump up three more right there I didn't get a ghost shell I did get an artifact check this out 350 was my lowest and I grabbed this artifact and it went up to 358 now if you have something that's really low 
then that's the time you want to think about popping a legendary engram because your legendary engram is going to come up at whatever your current light level is or one or more so if i popped a legendary engram that would have probably probably dropped at like uh, 358 or 359 and it's going to raise you eight or nine right there so that's the time to use your legendary engrams when one thing is kind of holding you back don't just spam them whenever you get them it's just not going to really help you out same thing with your exotics now, something else to keep in mind, when you're doing these strikes or doing anything in Destiny, you're gonna get a ton of blues and a ton of legendaries and some exotics that drop from these strikes and everything like that. Now, the blues will normally only decrypt to 340. For some reason, they don't go up any higher, but sometimes those blues will actually decrypt into legendaries. If they do, you're gonna get your current light level or one above. So make sure even when you're doing those dumb blues, you have your highest light level equipped. And I'd recommend holding on to those legendaries just now, unless you need something specific but hold on to those legendaries and I'll tell you why I would do that but um, the reason that I wanted you to have your Vanguard booster going on and also your uh, Vanguard class item and everything like that bonus is just because anytime you do anything that you get these packages normally they decrypt anywhere from two to four above your current light level and they're gonna help you out ranking up just like doing those getting those blues and everything like that so anything that you can do to help get your packages faster do it you got vanguard you got faction you got gunsmith you got the queen's bounties at the reef you've got prison of elders when you get those when you get the 30,000 and 90,000 challenges those things all decrypt higher and you can get some really good things that are going to really help you out rank up faster now on this one um, i got a 361 it was only two above us so like i said sometimes you're going to get four above and see some really good things now let's move on to our factions don't forget you can rank those up a little bit faster than you can by uh, donating certain things you can trade in weapon parts armor materials modes of light uh, heavy ammo cakes special ammo cakes a bunch of different things and actually rank those up so there i am ranking up my faction packages i think it too is armor on this one because i chose a weapon on the other one and my armor is a little bit lower on this character than my weapons i think my weapons are all uh low 360 somewhere right around there and my armor is all high 350 so i chose armor hoping to get something that would help me out let me skip ahead uh, on to the Postmaster. All right, so here we are at the Postmaster. We'll see what we get. I think I get two bonds or something like that. Sometimes when you do these packages, you'll get like a ghost shell uh, and a weapon or a piece of armor and a bond or something like that. So I got a 362. I think I'm 359 right now. So that basically raises me one third of a light level. All right, because uh, normal light level goes up every 10 that you raise it. So getting three extra, that's almost one third. So I started out at 357 and now I'm 359 and a third. So basically in four strikes, you know, I raised two light levels. So that's why, you know, doing these strikes is so important. Now, let me talk about when to use special and exotics, because I think this is, is really key. All right, but let me switch over to my second character. All right, this is my second character. It's a Titan and I have a faction rank up package. Now, instead of just using my faction rank up packages or all my other packages at light level 336, at most, I'd probably get like a 338, 339 or something like that. Instead, I brought over my Warlock stuff and infused my helmet right here and brought it up. So that just raised me up two light levels and I bought all my old stuff, all my lower level stuff that's not quite as high over here. If, say for instance, you get um, a 350 pair of gauntlets and a 349 pair of gauntlets you know you know bring that stuff over to your second characters and use them to infuse and bring your second characters up you might want to wait till you're even higher to start doing that uh, but i thought it'd be kind of cool is if i could bring this guy up and do a nightfall with him and everything like that so i had a 360 uh pair of chest plate right there i'm going to use for my warlock that raises me up pretty darn good my boots are 340 right now i'm going to raise those up with a pair of boots that i had were 350 three and then i'm also going to do um, my uh, mark class item right here i always forget what those things are called but this is uh, 335 and i can infuse that oh and that, this is one that i actually got when i used my treasure key i actually got this uh, mark of the undying mind so there's a 358 i don't even have to infuse anything i can just use that um, i could bring over my artifact but um, since i'm making this video i'm not going to waste your time but my artifact was 358 that raised me up almost a whole nother light level but i brought over all my weapons from my other characters my highest weapons over here there's a 360 um, and I think I got a 360 uh, heavy blue right there. That's an 
extra one. So, you know, bring over all your old stuff. There's a ghost shell. Brought over my highest ghost shell. Just brought it over here just to crack open that um, faction package. Now, remember, I was at 330 something. Now I'm at 357. Hopefully, when I rank this up or get this faction package, it's probably going to be two or three above uh, my current light level. So, I'm at 357 right now. Um, I'm going to pick armor because my weapons are pretty good and my armor is pretty soft on this guy. So, uh, armor, chroma, weapons. Yeah, armor. I'm going to pick that and see what we get. All right, so I got a towel and a pair of gauntlets. So, let's check out how that helps me out. All right, so... Um, here's my gauntlets 354 to 360 that just went up six that's over half a light level up that almost brought me to 358 and then 358 and 359 so that only raised me up one that wasn't the greatest but still um, those two items ended up raising me a light level to 358 so and my second character now went from 330s to 358 and your if your first character was even higher and you had higher stuff you could bring your second and third characters along pretty darn easy and like i said um i've got a um, artifact that i can bring over this 358 that would raise me up eight more eight out of the ten light levels for that when i'm doing those packages so you know hopefully this helps you out now i'm checking through here all right see all my things 350 359 i don't have an artifact but guess what my 353 that's my lowest so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna transfer a pair of legendary boot engrams from my vault over to my titan right there and then i'm gonna go decrypt that this is how i use my legendaries and how i'd recommend it if you can hold off on <laughs> decrypting those because all right my boots right now were 353 I, and they were the low item that I had an item that I could decrypt for that. So there's a 353. I'm 358 right now. It should be 358 or 359 boost. All right, so 358. So um, there I just raised it, you know, half a light level from 353 to 358. That's five. So that's how I use my legendaries and how I would use my exotics if I didn't have a legendary and wanted to go to the exotics. So I'd recommend holding on to those things until you get ranked up higher or until one area is really low low and it's holding you back from raising that light level you know then use your legendary items to decrypt those and get them because like i said you're only going to get your current light level or one above when you decrypt those it used to be in back in the day that you could really rank up really fast by playing the game where you uh, use those to do that but that just doesn't work anymore but hopefully this video helps you out don't forget to do the nightfalls every week if you can as soon as you can because i think uh, my very first nightfall is ranked 354 if you get a legendary or an exotic to drop uh, I was 354 and I got the Ophidian aspect at 359 so that was five above my current light level that's half a light level from one piece of armor also too I was doing Archon's Forge just doing a basic one the lowest level one and I got a Saladin's Vigil to drop which is an awesome fusion rifle and that thing came above in uh, five over my current light level so those are things you want to do besides the strike playlist whenever you can but hopefully this video helps you out and I know um, I am not the type of person that sits around and able to play video games all day. I've got a regular job and a family, so my time is very limited, and I try to get as much bang for the buck as I can. So that's why I wanted to make this video to really help you out. I know some people already said to do these strike playlists, but hopefully I did a little bit better job explaining that and more in depth, and it helps you out even a little bit more and gives you some other things to think about with your uh, legendaries and everything like that. If I did, I would really appreciate it if you give this thumbs up. Uh, that just helps me out. But man, hope you guys are having a blast with the rise of fire and that's where i'm gonna end this video as always take care and god bless